All right, scholars, in your um, concept catalog, let's define electric current. Electric current has an unusual symbol. It is capital I. And we can define it as the rate of flow of charge. And remember, the symbol for charge is Q. Um, and it's usually electrons. Usually electrons. Oh boy, sorry about this thing that we're going on. Usually electrons through a point in a circuit. Okay. If we look at an equation for this, the equation would look like I current equals rate. So we know it's going to be over time. And on top we have Q. Um, if we you look at units, the units for current is capital A, and that stands for amps. And the symbol for charge we know is Coulomb, capital C, and time is in seconds. So if you want to label that, we can. This is Coulombs. And underneath that, seconds. So I'm going to spell it again, just make sure you have it spelled correctly. C-O-U-L-O-M-B-S. Coulombs. All right. So let's take a look at an example of this. Actually, let's first take a look at um, this on the FET lab. So I made this little circuit here. And right now it's an open circuit, which means that the switch is not closed. Somewhere there's a break where the electrons are not moving through. As soon as I close the switch, we have what we call a closed circuit. And now we have a complete electric field in, this, in the wire, and the charges, in this case electrons, begin to move. So the current refers to how fast these are moving, the rate of flow of charges. And we can do something called a non-contact ammeter. If I click on that, um, it should show up here. Why is it not? Um, I need to zoom this here and try something. If I zoom it out, ammeter, bummer, it's not showing it for me. Okay, so we're back. I clicked on non-contact ammeter, which measures amps. And um, wherever I place it over the wire, it will read to me the amperage. So 0 0.90 amps. If I, if I measure it over here, 0 0.90. Over here, 0 0.90. Zero. Everywhere I measure it, inside the bulb, doesn't matter. Um, the point is that in a ser simple circuit like this, every point of the circuit has the same current. And we can see that these electrons are moving just as fast through every part of that circuit. Um, OK, now let's take a look at an example in your notes. Um, let me just, uh, one more thing on this here. So it is measuring the rate of flow of charges. And this measuring the charges, how fast are they coming through every second. And obviously this is just, you know, symbolic here. The electrons are far smaller, and there are an incredible number of them. For this uh, lab, you can really think of each one of these little blue dots as representing a coulomb of charge. That's pretty realistic. And a coulomb is like 6.25 times 10 to the 18 electrons. 
So let's go back and take a look at an example. All right, so for our example, let's do um, let's say that three coulombs of charge three come on oh let me pause the uh, this okay all right three bear with me bless you right off of three coulombs of charge pass through a wire pass through a wire every 10 seconds and we're going to look at this in two parts part A what is the current and to solve that we can use our equation I equals and now we have 3 coulomb of charge in 10 seconds means 0 0.3 amps for part B I'm gonna ask you how many electrons is this and here's a symbol again for electrons um, per second okay and so we're gonna do a little dimensional analysis Let's start with our amps. 0 0.3. And um, an amp is a coulomb per second. So we can put 0 0.3 coulombs per second. Because if you go back and look at your units right above over here, if you go back to um, the last page, an amp is a coulomb per second. Alright, so 0 0.3 amps becomes coulombs per second, and we are ultimately trying to get this into electrons per second. So we're going to need to use at least one, at least one conversion factor. And look further back in your notes from a few days ago, and you will see that we said one coulomb of charge is equal to 6.25 times 10 to the 18 electrons. Uh, if you want to get me a new, more powerful computer for Christmas, I would be most obliged. Okay. So let's make sure that everything's working out right. These units cancel out. We have coulombs, and now we are left with electrons per second, which is what we were trying to get. And we have to just do the math now. We're going to multiply. Um, so 0 0.3 times 6.25 times 10 to the 18. Punch it out. I'm just going to do 6.25 times 0.3, and that is 3.75. and then times 10 to the 18. All right, and that's how we think about current, the rates of flow of charges through the wire. And it's really important because you got to make sure that you have a wire big enough to carry that much current. One of the biggest jobs when you're wiring a house is to make sure that you have big enough wires for what you intend to power up. If you're going to be running wires to your kitchen, you need you're running 20 amp circuits. So you need to run um, a wire that's at least what we call 12 gauge wire. But if you're doing um, lighting circuits in your house, the lighting circuits are usually only 15 amp circuits. 
and so that can use a smaller wire, which we call 14 gauge. With gauge, the higher the number, the smaller it is. And if you think about the wires coming into um, a whole wing at San Marcos, those wires are really, really incredibly fat. I'll show you some tomorrow in class. All right, see you then.